Welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at problem five from chapter seven of College Physics 2E by OpenStax. In this problem, we need to calculate the work done by a man who pushes a crate up a ramp. And we also need to include the work he does on his body in doing so. Let's start with what we know. We know the mass M of the man is 85.0 kilograms. The displacement D is 4.00 meters. The angle of incline alpha is 20.0 degrees. The force F that he applies to the crate is 500 newtons, and that is along the incline. And he moves the crate with a constant speed. And so V is constant. The work done on the crate we'll say W sub C is the magnitude of the force applied to it times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between the force and displacement vectors. Okay. The force is up the ramp, the displacement is up the ramp, and so the angle theta is going to be zero degrees. So we have work sub C is F D cosine zero, and cosine zero is one. And so work sub C is going to be 500 newtons times 4.00 meters. And this gives 2.00 times 10 cubed joules. Now for the work done on his body by him. So work done on body. Say work sub B. And again, we have the force on the body times the displacement of the body times the cosine of the angle between the force and displacement. Okay, let's draw a free body diagram. And so we have the ramp. We'll make our X and Y. Here's the body. It's a dot. Okay. So we have a weight that is straight down. And so that has a matching force that is straight up. We have the angle of incline is alpha. So we have alpha here. Let's just extend this down. And by geometry, we have alpha there. So we have an X component of weight down the ramp. And we have an X component. And let's actually make this instead of F, let's call it a P. Here's our PX. And let me just move the P over here. Okay. So now, and when we sum our forces in the x direction, they will add up to zero because the acceleration is zero because the velocity is constant. And so we have P sub x up the ramp minus W sub x down the ramp. That's equal to zero. So the force on the body PX is equal to the X component of weight. We have a right triangle here. So if we take the sine of alpha, we get 
the x component of weight over the weight. So the x component of weight is weight sine alpha. And so that is mg sine alpha. So the force on the body, the x component of it, is mg sine alpha. Okay, so the work done on the body is going to be mg sine alpha times d. And now we need to figure out what theta is. And we can see that the px is up the ramp, the displacement is up the ramp, and so our theta is zero degrees. So we have cosine zero degrees. So the work done on the body is going to be mg sine alpha times d. Okay, the m is 85.0 kilograms. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. We have the sine of 20 degrees. And then we have the displacement. We're going to assume the body goes the same distance that the crate does. And that will be the 4.00 meters. So the work done on the body ends up being 1.14 times 10 cubed joules. Okay, so now the total work is going to be the work done on the crate plus the work done on the body. And so we have 2.00 times 10 cubed joules plus 1.14 times 10 cubed joules. Okay. Adding those up gives us 3.14 times 10 cubed joules. And that is our final answer. No, we were, we were concerned with finding the uh, work done by the man, so we ignore friction. Uh, we can note that the work done by the normal force is going to be zero because the angle between the normal and the displacement is 90 degrees. Cosine 90 is zero. And then the work done by the y component of weight is also at 90 degrees with the displacement. And so that one is also zero. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.